Welcome to Classic Game Room, to the new intergalactic space arcade still under construction for a review of Raceway from Radio Shack, a game that doubles as an alarm clock. Enjoy. Running at a smooth 60 frames per minute, it's Raceway from Radio Shack released in 1980-something. I'm not sure. It's old. And it also doubles as an alarm clock. Can your iPhone do that? You gotta win to survive! And you gotta survive to win in Raceway, a game where you drive and avoid things, while also delivering a flag from the left side of the road to the right. It's insane! I have scored 4,290 points in Radio Shack Enigmatic Racing Game. I keep driving, yet I never get closer to those mountains. Collect the flag on the left, and drive it over to the billboard on the right. It doesn't make sense. I must safely deliver this flag to the sign on the side of the street. But that's Raceway. Why? No! I don't have the instruction manual, so I'm not entirely sure, but every time you collect that flag and deliver it to the sign, the game speeds up, and then it gets harder. So if you just don't collect the flag, it stays slow forever, and then you can just score points by passing things. It's not Radio Shack's best effort. Plane and Tank is much better. It's Raceway! The LCD handheld. Where you drive a little car on the raceway and score points by passing other cars and score bigger points by collecting the flag and delivering it to the little sign over there on the other side of the road. It makes no sense, but that's the game. This one has been QC passed by one. Got the little stand here so you can pull this out and set it down for your alarm. Oops, set it down for your alarm clock. There we go. Like that. See? If you have trouble getting up in the morning, maybe Radio Shack Raceway can help. Little speaker, nice blue case, made in China. It's Raceway. I know what you're thinking. Mark, that game looks fun, but wouldn't it be better on the Neo Geo? Yeah, let's go do that. Woo! That button doesn't do anything. Let's do a down quarter circle fire. No, no. That doesn't seem to do anything either. If Mario Andretti was a Radio Shack handheld, this would be it. Woo! Look at me go! Yeah, I'm not so sure about this one, but I've still got a classic game room shout out and thank you going to Eric from Pasadena, California. No! It's simply moving too fast for my brain to comprehend! Thank you for sending Raceway and a thousand other LCD handhelds to the show in space. Along with a Tron controller. No! Full review of that thing coming soon. I play Atari for the users. It's insane! Yes, my alarm's going off. If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick. From New Jersey, Michael Fernandez. People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. <laughs> Al Stiver. Woo! Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia. Philip Straubenmuller from Vienna, Austria. Austria. Cue the thunder. Jeff, Captain Dauntless, Briar. Cue the lava. I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh, hi, Cunny. Master of Thunder. Chip Sankvale. Fighter of Space Bees. Woo. Rick DeBarros. Gets the extra disco. 
Michael and Ariana Nelson. Nelson. Fighters of the future. That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout, Busy Signal. That's right. And keep the volume loud and the party rocking for Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular! Will! Will! Will? Will? Will! Will. Will.